Hi. Let's have a look at what the most important soil functions are. After that, we think you will see soils with different eyes. First of all, soil is the medium for plants to grow. All kinds of vegetation are cultivated or managed in soil to provide the food that we and many animals eat. The same holds for fibers used in textile production, such as cotton. Plants are also used as fuel. Think of firewood or ethanol fuel. So the take home message here is, soil is the basis of most food production. And healthy soil is the basis for healthy food. Soil material itself is also used for many purposes. For example, in construction. 30% of the world's population uses earth as a building material, either as sand or bricks made from clay or peat. And nearly all of us use wood, which again, you guessed it already, comes from trees that grow in soil. Once we have our structures built, we use the soil as anchoring support, as the foundation for our infrastructure. Knowledge about soil types and properties is vital to ensure that our buildings and infrastructure are stable and do not end up like this tower in Pisa, Italy. Let's talk further about infrastructure. This grass pavement may not appear very attractive to you, but it shows that people realize another important aspect of soil. They can absorb and store a lot of water. Whereas many of us may not think about this soil function daily, we surely do notice it once it fails. For example, in case of severe droughts, or just the opposite, in the form of floods. Since this storage function helps to buffer extremes like drought and floods, it is also called the buffer function of soils. Managing soils properly and on a landscape level helps to avoid floods, especially in downstream urban areas. The Netherlands are a good example of how proper soils and landscape information can be used to effectively regulate water in a landscape. Besides managing water quantity, soil is also vital when it comes to water quality. As water infiltrates into the ground and moves toward the groundwater, soil acts as a giant biofilter with the potential to retain harmful substances. That's why it is possible in many places in the world to drink groundwater without any significant treatment. Isn't that great? In order to judge the filtering capacity of a soil, it is important to know more about the particular soil type and its properties. Scientists use lysimeters to study this soil function. Here you see what such an instrument looks like and how it allows for capturing the liquid passing through the soil, which is also called the soil solution, at different depths. Yet another aspect of soil. Soils are 3D archives. They keep and protect archaeological treasures. These can be artifacts from ancient civilizations or prehistoric finds, like this one, reported from Poland in 2010. This shows you how amazingly old soils are and how important time is as a factor in their formation. But soils are not important for humans and terrestrial animals alone. An incredible diversity of organisms lives in the soil. They range in size from the tiniest one-celled bacteria to more complex nematodes and earthworms, like the one on the soil surface next to me. And finally, small vertebrates, such as the mole. Believe it or not, soil provides massive support to our planet's biodiversity and hosts a full quarter or 25% of the total global biodiversity. So next time you hear about biodiversity, think soil. Soil organisms also contribute to services that directly benefit people. For example, the genetic resources of soil microorganisms can be used for developing novel pharmaceuticals. A famous example is the antibacterial substance penicillin, which in the 1930s became the wonder drug which saved millions of lives. Its discoverer, Alexander Fleming, received the Nobel Prize for this discovery in 1945. Soil organisms, as the engine of soils, 
are also behind a more abstract function, the cycling of nutrients. This function, which is vital for all life on Earth, ensures that dead organic material entering the soil is broken down and degraded. This process is called mineralization, and it releases fresh nutrients, which can again be taken up by plants, animals, and us. When we die, we become part of the subterranean nutrient cycling ourselves. You could say that we are only temporarily not part of the soil. Why am I showing a heap of compost here? Because this is exactly where the cycling, recycling of nutrients takes place. And one more thing. Remember the UN Climate Conference in Paris in December 2015? Soils were big on the agenda there. And that's because soils plays such a key role in the carbon and nitrogen cycles and can thereby help to combat and adapt to climate change. Sustainable soil management can contribute to greater storage of carbon from the atmosphere in the soil and lock it up there in the form of soil organic matter. In the next 25 years, this process could help to fix or sequester some 10% of the man-made CO2 emissions. By the way, it is this soil organic matter that gives soils their dark chocolate brown color. To summarize, soils have a wide range of functions that are of vital importance for man and nature. They are the basis for food production. We are dependent on their storage and filter functions for food security and water quality. One quarter of all the Earth's biodiversity resides in the soil. Through wise land management, we can use soil to alleviate the effects of climate change. And last but not least, soil is a beautiful and fun material to work with. Thanks for tuning in and learning about soil.